Okay, now I have a sequence going in, as you can hear, and when I push this button, it should stop. And it's not doing that. Okay, let's back up a bit. This is being noisy with Vola noisy stuff. And in this video, I'll make the useless module. I started the video showing what I thought was the end. It wasn't. As you saw, the module didn't work. Sometimes this happens. When making these things, most of the time, I don't have a plan pre-made. I just do and plan as I go. And sometimes this happens even if I plan ahead. I think I did everything right this time. And it didn't work. After realizing that the module didn't do what I wanted it to do, I checked everything. I made corrections and assumptions on what would help. And I did not get it working. So, I started over. Much more simpler. Bye bye! The way I first imagined I would make this. So what is this thing I've been talking about? This is the useless module. A Eurorack synthesizer module inspired and built from a useless box, which is a box that does nothing else than turns itself off. But I made it into a module that does something. Not much, and not for a long time, but does something. Maybe I shouldn't have. You tell me. But I wanted to use the useless machine as an automatic switch to connect two different channels on and off. So input B and output B would be connected when the machine is turned off. And input A and output A would be connected when the machine is on. I wired the inputs and outputs so that if there is nothing plugged into the A input the A output would be connected to the B input when the machine is on. And the same for the output A as well. The inputs and outputs are just how I name them. It really doesn't matter how you connect them. I name them just to help me to keep up with the patching. The switch is done with a four pole double throw switch. Two of the poles reverse the power going into the motor and makes the turning hand move. The other two connect A and B channels. Simple, or at least it is now simpler than the one that failed. In the failed version, I tried to use a switch IC, a 4066 and an inverter chip, the 40106 IC, but to be able to put the maximum power of 12 volts through the switch, the switch IC needed 12 volts in its power, if I understood this correctly. The motor needed near 3 volts. I tried it with the 5 volts that the Eurorack system provides, and it was too fast, so I added a voltage regulator of 3.3 volts. The problem I think now is that the 3.3 volts going into the motor that I used for the input signal to the turn the switch on in the 4066 is too weak when powering the IC with 12 volts. I'm not sure if this is the case, but I think it is the reason behind the fail. If you know better, please let me know. I'm not an expert on electronics. But why to do all this? Because it's fun, and stupid, and funny, and silly. I like to do funny things, and I feel that sometimes 
especially in the synthesizer community and makers of instruments, take things too seriously. And I hope that showing that making musical instruments can be funny and not too serious, it inspires someone to do it too. My plan for these videos is to try to make things with a low budget. Okay, I know I used a CNC machine on this build, a machine that most people don't own, but this could be done without it, just with a saw and a drill and a marker or a pencil or, or paint or anything that you come up with. And if you do build something inspired by this video or any other video that I have, please let me know. I would love to see them. And remember to have fun. When you're building stuff, remember to have fun. Now the useless module is working. Now the useless module is working. I have a pad going in, there's a drum beat going on, and I have the clock going into the snare uh, from here to the B and out from the output of the B. But I also have another clock that's faster going into the A. And when you flip the switch, it will change the clock speed and make kind of this fill, if you will. And like you can hear it now. It's super fast, but it works. On this patch, I have a sequence going uh, into the B channel that you can hear. It's coming up from the uh, out to uh, delay and then I have the uh, radio music chord organ going into the A and then it will go it will when I flip the switch it will go out to the same delay and you can hear that super fast Now instead of the sequence going into the B channel and being open when the switch is down position, I have the chord organ going in and the sequence going into the A and then you can...